Los Angeles County's number of new COVID-19 cases were falling this week, but the region's average death rate is up, the county's top public health official said Thursday, January 12, while advising county residents to remain cautious against the disease as students return to the classroom following. County cases are decreasing with a rate of 127 new cases for 100 000 people, but the average death rate of 23 people per day is up from 15 reported in the last week of December, said Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer in her weekly briefing. But even with falling cases this week, Ferrer voiced caution as life ramps up after the holidays. She noted that the official daily numbers are vastly underestimating the actual amount of virus activity. Schools were a particular focus on Thursday. As schools returned this week, we could see a repeat of this pattern, which does bring a fair amount of disruption to schools, learning plans and families, Ferrer told reporters, noting that while this winter's surge is not as bad as previous winter suit. Public Health asks that students and staff test this week as they're returning and wear well-fitting, high-quality mask for 10 days after returning to the classroom and school. Taking consistent action early could help change the pattern that we saw last fall. Toward this end, the Public Health Department distributed two, four million at-home test kits to the pre-K through 12 population. All told, Ferrer said Thursday the county is averaging 162 virus-related hospital admissions per day, down from 192 in late December and from 211 in early January. The county has remained in the federal government's medium transmission tier since December 22. Hospitalizations and death rates remain highest in elderly patients, high poverty communities as well as within Latinx and black communities, Ferrer said, presenting numbers showing the disproportionate impact of COVID hospitalizations and deaths on people aged 80 and older. She said the death rate for that age group was five times higher than the rate for people aged 65 to 79, and the hospitalization rate was three times higher. When compared to summertime data, deaths are higher even though the number of cases is lower. According to Ferrer, there may be a few reasons for this. The first is that many remain due for a bivalent booster vaccine. The protections offered from the shot wane over time. Second, more research is needed to understand comorbidity of COVID and other respiratory illnesses that circulate during the winter months. Last, the Omicron strains may be leading to more severe symptoms than previous strains. The most common strain remains Omicron, and the Public Health Department continues weekly screenings to monitor transmission and infection patterns.